My name is Mr. Steve. I'm a storyteller. Hello, everybody! It's me, Mr. Steve, and it's time for another story time! And today, I'm a little bit dressed up. You might be wondering, hey, what's the occasion? Well, let Mr. Steve tell you. I'm wearing these glasses because today we're reading an amazing, adorable book. It's right here. It's by Kimberly and James Dean, and it's called Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. So I thought today I would dress up like a reject from Primus. I like these Pete the Cat books because Pete the Cat is all about staying cool. Well, when life gives you lemons. Kids, how much do you know about stoicism? Nothing? Okay, neither do I. We're going to read this book. You can't just say, Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. You have to say, Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. You gotta do the hand, okay? You gotta do the hand. Just trust me here. Okay, already, this is frightening. Okay, so Pete the Cat is a hideous Tim Burton monstrosity who rides a 100-mile-long skateboard. Through a town consisting of one house and a deflated balloon. Pete the Cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. Oh, Pete had the blue cat blues. Oh, I got the blues. I got the blue cat blues. Suddenly, Peter Fonda in Easy Rider shows up. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. Got people like that in your life? I got people like that in my life. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, These cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Right on! The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, What's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, Try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. I didn't realize that squirrels had T-Rex arms. <laughs> Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle! Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete said. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. Yeah, I've been that way since about the middle of March 2020. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. 
turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling oh. Right. Pete kept rolling along until he saw a alligator. A alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, a alligator? Pete asked, and the alligator ate him. The end. The moral of the story is, it's probably best not to be friends with an alligator. They'll just eat ya. Well, that's the end of story time. <laughs> okay. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Probably doesn't want to get eaten, dude. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. So Alalagator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Rockin! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pretty sure that's a new monster that they added to the Star Wars movies. Pete was rolling along and feeling all when suddenly he fell back, which is weird because he's obviously falling forward, but he he's falling back forward. I, I The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh. Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Just then Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Yeah. I, I feel that there's a stereotypical voice for the wise old owl, and I feel that I should do that. <gasps> Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses, but no, I want to do something different, you know? I want to do something different. Just because it's a wise old owl doesn't mean it needs to have a deep, majestic voice. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good... In every day, Pete looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, we're feeling all right. Well, you better watch out, guys. There's all these uh, equal signs that are all over the place. See? Equal sign, equal sign, equal sign. These guys are surrounded by math! And that's the end of that story. Yay! Awesome! Did you like that story? Pete the Cat teaches us an important lesson to just, hey, go with the flow and realize that it's all cool. It's all cool. It's all cool, man. Everything's cool. Well, when life gives you lemons. So I hope you liked that story. Do you want us to read more Pete the Cat books? Maybe we should, huh? I love this one. And I love, I love my white shoes. That's another one that we've done. Be sure and check that out. Link in the description. Anyway, that's the end of story time today. I hope you guys are doing good. Remember, Mr. Steve cares about you. Be sure and like and subscribe and all those things that I'm supposed to say because I'm somebody on YouTube. We will see you later. Bye!